This is Samsung's big bad boy for 2020, the Galaxy S20 Ultra, a phone that will give you everything. 5G, the best battery life, the biggest display, a revolutionary camera experience, the best performance. This phone is an absolute powerhouse. I spent a short while with all three new Galaxy S20 phones and the S20 Ultra is the one that leads the pack. First of all, it's not just like any big phone out there, it's gigantic. The screen is 6.9 inches and the phone is much bigger and bulkier than last year's Galaxy S10 Plus. If you prefer compact phones, you should definitely consider the smaller S20 and S20 Plus models, but if you want a large phone with a large screen, you will love the Ultra. It's made of glass and metal, nothing new here, but it still looks the part. Every bit is premium and luxurious as you'd expect. Well, at least when clean, hold it for a while and it easily gets smudged with fingerprints. It launches in just two colors. You have a gray and a black, or cosmic gray and cosmic black if you ask Samsung. Now, I know you want to hear about that revolutionary camera, but let me spend just a moment talking about the screen, because it is worth it. This screen is incredible, 6.9 inches, AMOLED in its latest and most advanced form, with a tiny discreet punch hole camera in the center, and almost no bezel. Colors are juicy and delightful, especially in the vivid color mode, and you also have one killer new feature, 120Hz refresh rate. Everything looks buttery smooth in 120Hz. This refresh rate works even when you lower the brightness, Samsung tells us. And one small disclaimer, you can only enable it when using full HD resolution. If you want the maximum quad HD resolution, 120Hz option is not available. And no, there is no in-between 90Hz option at all. Okay, let's address the elephant in the room, the revolutionary new cameras. Seeing the S20 Ultra in person is a bit of a culture shock. You have never seen a phone with such an enormously big camera bump. It's absolutely massive. But there is a reason for that size. A brand new 108 megapixel main camera with the largest sensor ever on a Galaxy phone. And then three more cameras. The ultra wide one and the periscope zoom lens on the bottom. That gives you an impressive 10 times optic zoom so you can zoom further without losing much in clarity. Pushed to its limits, it can zoom up to a mind-boggling 100 times. Well deserving the space zoom nickname that Samsung has given it. Of course, don't expect great quality at 100 times zoom, images do look blurry and you'd better bring a tripod along, but step one stop short of that at 30 times zoom, just holding the phone in your hand and you get a surprisingly decent photo, and go at the native 10 times zoom and photos look downright impressive. Those 108 megapixels on the main camera, you can use them for full resolution photos, but by default, the camera would combine 9 individual pixels into one to create 12 megapixel snaps. The camera has quite a few other tricks up its sleeve. 8K video with stunning detail, yes, that's an overkill and it takes a ton of space, but isn't a phone like the Ultra all about that overkill? Samsung has also improved the super steady option so you get real gimbal-like stabilization so you can run and film and still get buttery smooth recordings. You get a new night mode that brings out beautiful colors in pitch black conditions and our favorite, the new single take option. Single take allows you to just hold the camera shutter while the phone will shoot photos and videos with all of the cameras and then magically pull out the best shots and moments in one album. How do you use it? Well, first do something fun, jump or scream, be creative and capture it. You will automatically get a short movie, a few gif-like funny animations, a bunch of stylized photos and a lot more in just one take. Samsung says it uses AI, but it's a really great way to capture a moment and see it as if it was captured from a crowd of people, everyone with their own unique view. And then you have other cool new features like the night hyperlapse that can capture things like this. Okay, I can easily get carried away talking cameras, but here's something super cool about the S20 Ultra. It has a colossal 5000 mAh battery, bigger than on most other flagships, and it will last. You also get fast charging via USB-C, as well as faster than before wireless charging. Under the hood, the processor powering this show is the brand new monster by Qualcomm, the Snapdragon 865 if you live in the States. Most other countries will get the Exynos 990 chip, which would be close in terms of speed. 
The 5G modem on board will support both millimeter wave frequencies and sub-6 bands, so you get full compatibility with all carriers and benefit from both technology. You also have 128 gigs of onboard storage and an impressive 12 gigabytes of RAM. But if you want to go overboard, you can also get the S20 Ultra with as much as 16 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage, plus you have micro SD card support to expand further on that. There are a few other details you should know about. First, no headphone jack. Last year's Galaxy S10 had it, but this year it's gone. I personally would miss it, but Samsung is throwing a pair of its new truly wireless Galaxy Buds Plus for free, so I can't complain much. They now look shiny with a glossy finish and last up to 11 hours of continuous music playback, which is super impressive for truly wireless earbuds. Second, the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner. It's built inside the screen and since there is no 3D face recognition here, it's the most secure way to unlock your phone. It should be improved and we hope it is, as it was not quite perfect on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, but unfortunately I did not get to test it yet. Third, that new live wallpaper looks dope. Just enjoy that zen-like movement on your lock screen. Um... Okay, back to reality. Last, the Ultra still counts preloaded with Microsoft apps like Office, OneDrive and LinkedIn. I don't use them, but I don't mind. And well, that about wraps up this first look at the beastly new Galaxy S20 Ultra, a phone that brings us into a new era of zoom photography and buttery smooth 120Hz refresh rates. I cannot wait to test that camera in more detail, as well as put the Ultra to our signature battery drain test very soon. Meanwhile, I will be answering your questions about the Ultra in the comments section to this video, so shoot away! Check out the description to this video to see links to all of our S20 content, don't forget to share this video with your friends, subscribe to see more from us. Thank you for watching, my name is Vic, this is Phone Arena, and I will see you in the next one.